next episode of How to Make Maple Syrup. Here we are in the Fairhaven's kitchen with Mike, our executive chef, and he's going to take you through the next steps of finishing the maple syrup. Let's take a look. So with maple syrup, there's a couple ways that we can uh, tell if it's finished. Um, so you already seen that we go through the whole boiling process over in the sugar shack. Once we get it over here, it's just kind of finishing it up and bringing that last little bit of water out. Uh, so in order to tell, we've got two ways. We've got our hydrometer, which will measure the level of sugar uh, content that's actually in the syrup, and we'll measure it in what's known as bricks. So we, have, we will actually take this guy, fill it up, drop this guy in here, and, and where that floats, it actually will measure how much sugar is in there. So I'm actually gonna go and fill this guy up. Now we already know that this batch is finished, so we're just gonna be showing you kind of how it floats. So as soon as I let go of this, you're gonna notice it hover right around this red line. And so this has actually been sitting and so because the red line is above, I know that the temperature has dropped a little bit on that. And so the viscosity is tightened right up. So we got to heat that up before we actually go and bottle that. The second way to figure it out is actually by temperature. And over here, we got actually another batch going. And we got a little thermometer that's sitting here. Now, most of you guys will know that water temperature, depending on where you are in the world, uh, the boiling point is about 212 degrees. Uh, as we introduce more sugar into that water, that boiling point is going to increase because um, water can only get to a certain temperature. And as we concentrate that sugar, it's going to allow it to hit a higher temperature. Based on our elevation and, and where we are in the world, we actually boil at 211 degrees. So for maple syrup, we know the boiling point, we actually add seven degrees. So just kind of like uh, candy, if you've ever, ever made candy where it needs to hit a certain temperature before it's done, same kind of concept, just very, very low on that candy thermometer scale. Um, so we've got a couple more degrees left on this, and then we're going to actually get to uh, bottling all of that, which will be the next step, and we'll touch base with you then. So if you like maple syrup, you know, there's a few different types, you know, you've probably seen amber around, um, dark, light, all that stuff. Um, now, how do we figure that out? That's the, that's, that's the next step. Um, and this little guy, I have actually taken and filled up from here, uh, from this pot and this batch. So if you look right on top, uh, they're all labeled. So we got dark, amber, golden. It's very simple. Hold it up to a light, and I don't know if you can kind of see that on the camera. But you want to find the one that kind of matches the best. Now I'm, I, I'm looking at these two here, so let's put them beside each other. So it's definitely darker than this guy, so that guy's out of there. Yeah, so I, I'm going to say those two, not quite as dark as this guy, so we're, we're looking at an amber syrup. Trays have been put into the steamer to be sanitized and heated up. 